so hi friends and welcome back in previous video we had discussed about the heat conduction through plane wall by general heat conduction equation in cartesian form and in today's video we will discuss about the uh, heat conduction through plane wall by fourier's law directly so this method is very easy so you can rapidly derive the equation of the uh, heat conduction through plane wall and we will also solve this sum in this video so you get the idea that how to use this equation of heat conduction through plane wall okay i hope you will enjoy this lecture please watch this lecture till the end also follow me on the instagram i will provide the link in the description and please subscribe to my channel for more educational videos okay so without any further delay let's get started this method is very short method and we can easily find out the heat conduction equation directly by fourier's law okay so the first thing we have to do that we have to write the fourier's law equation there so the fourier's law equation is q is equals to minus k a into dt by dx okay so where k is the thermal conductivity and in our case k is constant and also area a is also constant uh area is the perpendicular to the heat flow which is constant and we are having the steady state heat conduction and the heat is flowing only in the x direction that is one directional heat flow the assumptions which are made in the previous video when we had derived the heat conduction uh, through plane wall by using the general heat conduction equation is same so that all assumptions are applicable here okay now so first thing we will see so we will multiply dx with q so q into dx is equals to minus k a into dt okay now we will integrate it integrating so integration of q into dx is equals to integration of minus k a into dt okay so here dx so x is the variable so now we will come here so here l is the thickness of this wall okay and l is or we can say x is from 0 to l so we can write as x is from 0 to l now here dt is the variable so we will come from uh, we will come here so we can see the temperature at phase 1 let's say this is phase 1 and this is phase 2 so temperature at phase 1 is t1 and temperature at phase 2 is t2 so we will write t1 2 t2 so these are the limits of our integration in case of dx it will be from x is equals to 0 to x is equals to x in case of dt temperature it is from t1 to t2 okay so as i had told now only that we are having steady state heat conduction steady state heat conduction so in steady state heat conduction we will have heat transfer rate as constant throughout the wall and we are also assuming that k is constant and also the area is also constant so these are the assumptions which are made to solve this equation so steady state heat conduction that means q q is also constant k is also constant because the material of this wall is homogeneous and isotropic and area a is also constant so as you can see q is constant so we can take out from the integration and here also k a is constant so we can take out of the integration so now q into integration dx from 0 to l is equals to minus k a into integration dt from t1 to t2 so we can write q into x is is from 0 to l is equals to minus k a into t from t1 to t2 okay so i will write here so q into this will be l minus 0 which is equals to minus k a into t2 minus t1 now here it is minus sign so i will multiply in in the bracket so we will get t1 minus t2 okay so we are getting a beautiful equation as q as k a into t1 minus t2 okay so i will write a beautiful equation here so q is equals to k a into t1 minus t2 divided by l 
So you can see the heat conduction equation through plane wall by using directly the Fourier's law. So we are getting the same equation as we are getting in the previous video that is by using the general heat conduction equation. Now if you want to know the thermal resistance of this plane wall, so that also can be find out. So Q is equals to, we want to bring the form as delta T by RTH. So we can easily find the value of RTH. So I will bring this equation into this form. So Q, what is delta T? It is change in temperature. So it will be T1 minus T2 divided by the rest of the thing will come in the denominator. So L by Ka. So if we compare these two equations, then we will get RTH. RTH is L by Ka, where L is the thickness of this plane wall and K is the thermal conductivity of the wall and A is the area perpendicular to the heat flow. So you can find that by using the Fourier law directly we can find the heat conduction through plane wall very easily. Okay, so now we will solve the sums related to this topic. So now the example of heat conduction through plane wall. The inner surface of a plane brick wall is at 60 degrees Celsius and outer surface is at 35 degrees Celsius. Calculate the rate of heat transfer per meter square per meter square of surface area of the wall which is 20, uh, 220 mm thick. The thermal conductivity of the brick is 0.51 watt per meter degree Celsius. So first we will draw a brick wall. Okay. So, so this is the brick wall of, of thickness 220 mm. Now the temperature of the outer surface is 60 degrees Celsius and the temperature at the inner surface is at 35 degree Celsius. So as we know that heat always flows from higher to lower. So this is the direction of heat flow. Okay. And now we will write the given data. T1 is the temperature at phase 1 or outer surface is 60 degrees Celsius. Temperature at phase 2 or inner surface is 35 degrees Celsius and length is equals to 220 mm. Now we will convert it into meter. So 220 into 10 raised to minus 3 meter. Okay. Now K, K is the thermal conductivity which is given that K is equals to 0.51 watt per meter degree Celsius. Now, uh, now only we had derived the equation that Q is equals to T1 minus T2 divided by L upon Ka. Okay, this equation we had derived. Or you can write that Q is equals to Ka into T1 minus T2 divided by L. Now, you have to see this line perfectly that calculate the rate of heat transfer per meter square. So we have to find the rate of heat transfer per meter square. So I will bring this area in the denominator of Q. So it is K into T1 minus T2 divided by L. Now this capital Q by A can be written as small q. Okay. This small q is known as heat flux. Heat flux its unit will be watt per meter square okay so now we have to put the values that uh, this k is 0 0.51 t1 is 60 minus 35 divided by l l will uh, l is 220 into 10 raised to minus 3 so if you will calculate this, then you will get small q is equals to 57.95 watt per meter square. So this is the heat conduction per meter square of the surface. It is the rate of heat transfer. It is the rate of heat transfer per meter square of the surface area. 
so we had written uh, so we had written this small q small q is known as heat flux so that's all i hope you had enjoyed this lecture if you have any doubts then please ask me in the comment section please subscribe to my channel for more educational videos like and share in next video we will see the heat conduction through composite walls okay so till then have a good day and bye